And it's a nationwide problem that's hitting home tonight. Sneaking drugs like marijuana, meth, and heroin into our hospitals. Parkview and Pueblo taking action right now to fight it. News 5's Katie Blaze introduces us to Parkview Medical Center's new drug doc. Meet River. This two and a half year old black lab isn't just a cute face. He's a trained narcotics detection canine here at Parkview Medical Center. These four paws are now roaming the halls of this hospital, ready to sniff out unwelcome items that have slipped through the doors. We have seen an incidence of uh, patients and families and other folks trying to sneak narcotics and other contraband into the hospital. Tucker tells me it happens every day. It could be, you know, less than an ounce of marijuana, meth or heroin. But sometimes we find that in syringes. The safety issue is if they bring those needles in and they're uncapped, then everybody has a, a risk for exposure. To curb that risk, the hospital turned to River for help. We've been certified since the end of May and we've been you know, doing room searches, doing bag searches, random searches. I give him an order, you know, to, to do it. And then that's when he starts his job. Workman says people can usually tell if marijuana is in the building, but odorless drugs like meth and heroin are more challenging. That's where River comes in. He has the sense to, to smell that in a bag, you know, and in an enclosed room with a little bit of heat, he can, he can find it right away. And she showed me how he's able to do this. We use these as a, a training gate aid, and uh, we usually have them married with a, a narcotic. Okay, River, come on. Come on, we're gonna go find it. Ready? It's up here. River, up here. Aus, aus. Good boy. Good boy. Did you find it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Good job. So as you can see, River has grown to become an essential part of the Parkview family, helping to make it a safe and secure environment and a place for healing. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Katie Blaze, News 5.